Okay, this video uh, is going to be how to um, modify the uh, the pulse width fuel tables on a Hemi. Uh, most Hemis are speed density, so there's no mass airflow. So everything is controlled by speed density and the injector pulse width control tables. There's two tables here, injector pulse width versus fuel mass, fuel mass versus injector pulse width. Uh, they need to be exactly opposite of each other. So I'm going to show you how to set up your files so that you can log for this. And then also how to set up your scanner. Um, so your first step is going to be similar to how you do speed density. Go to power enrichment. Set to an RPM that it will not turn on. Go to temperature control. Go to the FA enrichment max which is for the catalytic converter zero that out go to cut off put it at a temperature that it will not reach so that way it does not go into deceleration fuel cutoff mode and from there um, that's all you need to do there uh, from now you're going to want to go to your scanner you're going to want to basically create a graph now you need to have your fuel mass logged here. I use cylinder one fuel mass. Okay, you're gonna need your fuel mass logged here. Um, and then you're also going to need your injector pulse width as well over here in order for this to be correct. See, injector pulse, pulse, miss, pulse width cylinder one. Um, go to graph layouts. You wanna press this button to add a graph. What you want for your graph, and I make a long-term one, long-term fuel trim sensor one, row axis fuel mass here, and then this number is right here, you're gonna copy from your tune. So go to your tune, go to fuel, injector pulse mass, right click, copy labels. Okay, once those are in, the, in here, uh, you can do the exact same thing. Uh, basically, you are going to drive around, keep it under 4,000 RPMs, um, keep it under 50% throttle, and you're going to basically log, and you're going to want to populate as much of these cells as you can. And then once you make your first drive done, you right-click, click Copy, go back to your tune, open up this table, right-click, and you're also going to do the same thing you do with everything else, paste spe pay special, multiply by half, click here, right click, click copy, go over to here, right click, go to row axis, edit, paste. Now they're exact opposite of each other. Let me move this over here. See your column here is going to be your numbers in here. Your column here is going to be your numbers in here. Uh, and now you can rinse and repeat and do this same process over and over again until it is close. Now, if for some reason you are logging um, and you're not populating any of this, and you're just populating one cell, one cell, one cell, um, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to stop what you're doing, put that back to stock, and you're going to want to tune your speed density. Your speed density is going to be far more accurate. I do have a video on how to tune speed density. So from there, go through and, and tune your speed density tables, and that's the way to go there. Um, because sometimes these cars just don't have enough, um, I guess, leeway here. You can't just ingest the injector in one spot and expect it to fix your whole tune. So um, if you can populate this whole graph like this, then it's not a huge deal. But I always recommend doing speed density tuning first. Now, if you do change your injectors, you have to do this table. You know, if you increase your injectors by 20%, you're going to want to copy this table, and you're going to add 20%, and then you're going to want to adjust it from there and dial in. This is the table that you use to dial in your injectors, and this uh, explanation of how to... Um, modify this table and log for it is exactly how you dial in after changing your injectors to a bigger size. Uh, after you're done, you're going to want to go turn your power enrichment back on. If you have cats, you're going to want to turn the FA enrichment back on. 
you're going to go to cut off. You're going to want to turn that back on. Uh, and then from there, your car is tuned and dialed in on the fuel. And uh, you shouldn't have any fuel-related issues from there.